First two or three views, guys. That's fine. Super, super, super. Awesome. Okay, good morning. <laughs> okay, it's uh, that'll pass. Uh, it is good to see you this morning, all with smiles on your faces. All with smiles on your good. Okay. Now, I want you to ask your mom and dad a question. Whoever you came to church with this morning, sometime today, maybe after church. And I want you to ask them. Have they ever been to a rock concert? <laughs> now, do you know what I mean of going to a rock concert? Have any of you ever been to a rock concert? Yeah. Remember, you're in church. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, they're like flying around and loud and shaking their heads and all kinds of stuff. But ask your mom and dad if they've ever been to a rock concert. Because this morning, I'd like to have a... A rock concert. <laughs> Some of you got it. Good. I want to have a rock concert this morning because that's what happened on Palm Sunday. Let me explain. It probably wasn't the same rock concert that maybe your moms and dads went to, but there was kind of a rock concert on Palm Sunday when Jesus went to Jerusalem. This is what happened. Jesus comes into Jerusalem. People are waving palm branches, making lots of noise. And the stuffy church people told Jesus, stop those people from making such a ruckus. Stop them from making noise. Stop them from saying, Hosanna, save us now. And guess what Jesus said? Jesus said, if I told them to stop, if I told them to zip it, Even the rocks would begin singing. <laughs> Even the rocks would start singing if they didn't. Now, I got to thinking that rocks and stones, they play a big part in our faith if you read the Bible. If you remember David and Goliath, David used a stone boink, to kill a giant. Kind of cool. Giant. Now, that's what Goliath was, was a giant, a big giant. And he used a stone to take him out. Also, the prophet Elijah built an altar to God using rocks. Also, King Solomon built a huge temple to God using stones and rocks. Even Jesus said, that the man who is wise will build his house not on sand that could be swept away, but on rocks that are solid. And you know something? I just thought we'd have a rock concert this morning and really understand what Jesus meant by if you don't talk, if you don't praise Jesus, the rocks will. And I want you to think about that today, and I want you to talk to your Sunday school teachers, and I want you to talk about those that are in children's church, and you can even ask me and such things, what does that mean to you, that this rock could even praise God? That even the things that can't even talk, according to Jesus, could praise God? It's not the rock concert your mom and dad attended in the day. It's a new kind of rock concert. Let's pray about that, can we? Everybody got a hand? Excuse my rock hands. Everybody got a hand? Let's pray. Pray nice and loud for me, okay? Prove to me you're awake here this morning. Thank you, God, for teaching me about your love. And this day, we proclaim you are our Savior. Above all, I love you, God with my whole heart. Amen.